My name is Finley Walker. Um, I recently graduated from New Canaan High School, um, class of 2014. Um, I started working at Barbara Cleary's Realty Guild because six months ago in January, when second semester was starting my senior year, I decided to um, participate in the New Canaan High School Senior Internship Program, which is where high school seniors can opt out of the last month of school and instead of worrying about finals and getting credit in all your classes and studying, you can actually get real work experience, which was such a pleasure to work in. And we had a discussion and I told him that I specialize in making videos and that I have been in New Canaan High School's TV production program for the past three years. Um, so when I came here in May, uh, it was mid-May, May like 17th, I believe, um, to start my internship, the six-week internship until I graduated, we decided that um, it would be a good idea for me to have a video project. And so that's where this project came about, which was uh, Five Reasons to Live in New Canaan. For this type of video, I did sort of a 60 Minutes esque sort of video minus the interviewer being shown. So basically I had to go out and film probably about 60 minutes worth of b-roll which is the footage that you put over people when they're speaking along with about 13 different interviews. Well, for me, this was kind of a new experience. Um, when I was in my TV production class, I mostly focused on putting together our morning announcements, which is all about live production. And it's not really about going through the process of making an informative yet engaging video. I had done projects like that before. You know, I made like our intro for the morning announcements, which was a big deal, but this was huge. It was five videos that were both, that were all about like four minutes long. And I had to get multiple interview sources as well as B-roll to put over that. And I just think that coordinating the interviews and then getting out to film all the B-roll and on top of that getting permission to use B-roll and film places like outside shops in New Canaan, because that is copyright infringement if you don't get that permission, is, was a huge deal. And it was really difficult, but it was an interesting experience and sort of helps me guide what I want to do when I study journalism in college. I did. I really honestly had no idea about all the modern architecture, all the arts and culture, and I find myself to be very well knowledgeable in New Canaan. My mom has worked at the Historical Society. My dad is a huge part of the Exchange Club. They do a lot of different things. I myself am involved in um, New England Academy of Dance, which is a huge ba ballet program, so you would think that I would know all about like culture in this town and those things, but I really didn't, and it was an amazing experience to have right before I leave for college. Well, yeah, I'm going to uh, University of Missouri in Columbia, number one journalism school in the country, just to let everyone know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely doing broadcast journalism. It's what I love. But this experience has really sort of showed me and it complicated the fact that I'm not sure whether or not I want to be on camera or behind the scenes. I really enjoyed this project. And this is the stuff that the behind the scenes people do. And I always thought, oh, you know, I want to be a reporter, maybe a foreign correspondent. I get to travel the world. But you get to do that as a producer, too. So <laughs> I'm going to have a huge decision to make in college. And this project has only complicated it, if anything. But it was a great learning experience. And I think it's only helped enrich the final decision that I'm going to end up making.